All right, Julian, there's three types of burns. Julian, there's a first degree burn that you're gonna talk about, and then there's a second degree burn, and then there's a third degree burn. Julian, what you gotta lead the class through is the definition and an example. I'll tell you what, I'll start off with the definition. The definition is where just part of your epidermis gets burnt. Julian, an example. Yes, you're right. A sunburn. But Julian, we got to wrap our head around it. What is happening to your skin in a first degree burn? <laughs> Julian, by going out and laying in the sun, how does that give you a first degree burn? <laughs> Julian... I want you to think about last night. Last night, your mom was making uh, fajitas. Was it chicken fajitas or beef fajitas? It was beef. Okay. Julian, you smelled it uh, cooking. Uh, Julian, you went into the kitchen. Your mom was, she had the pan real, real hot. And then she had the steak. <clears throat> and Julian, she put the steak on the pan that was really, really hot. How did it sound like, uh, Julian? Yes. Now, Julian, you stuck over mom and you looked down. Julian, when you're looking at the beef and it got on the hot pan, what happened to it? Yes, Julian, you're right. What happened is it got on the hot pan and then all of a sudden it like shrank. It shrank and it got narrower. And Julian, that does happen to proteins. Proteins, when they get hot, they shrink. Now, Julian, what happens in a burn? Julian, <clears throat> back to here. Julian, uh, these are keratinocytes. And Julian, when the keratinocytes get to the outside of the skin, outside the epidermis, what's up with them? Yes, they get completely filled with keratin. So Julian, <clears throat> these keratinocytes are completely filled up with keratin. Now Julian, do you remember what keratin is? Yes. Keratin is a protein. So, Julian, what happens during a first degree burn? Yes. What happens is the proteins start to get hot, and then the proteins, they shrink. So, Julian, the proteins in this keratinocyte, they shrink. And now, this keratinocyte is this big. And, Julian, this keratinocyte is this big. So, now, Julian, are the keratinocytes touching each other? No. So what happens to it? Yes, it just falls off. Should I, Julian? Should I give myself a first degree burn? Julian, I got it. Light, please, I've had enough dif uh, difficulties today. Julian, what's happening to my keratinocytes of my arm? Oh, please keep working. I gotta get a candle. Come on, work for me. Too many difficulties today. Julian. What happens to my, oh, I can feel it, Julian. Julian, I'm warming up my keratinocytes and what's happening to them? Yeah, they're starting to shrink. Now, Julian, if I keep doing this, they're going to shrink so much that they're not going to touch each other. All right, Julian, I'm going to do it. I don't know if you can see it, Julian. Oh, Julian, did you just see that? What happened right there is I had a whole bunch of white things fall. Those were my keratinocytes. I got me a first degree burn there. <laughs> Now, Julian, now what I want you to do is, Julian, I want you to tell the class how come first degree burns are red? Uh, why they feel hot? Why are they painful? You got that sunburn over the summer. Why was it red? All right, Julian, uh, I got my drawing right here. You go out and you're out in the sun a lot. Maybe it's because you're burning yourself with a candle. A bunch of keratinocytes fall off. So Julian, these keratinocytes right here, they just fell off. So now what happens is the body realizes that. And the stratum basal underneath it goes into hyper mode. 
Julian, the stratum basal right here goes in hyper mode. The stratum basal makes up the new epidermis and it's going to start pumping out the cells really, really fast. Julian, it takes 25 to 45 days to make a new epidermis. But now it's going to be pumping out cells so fast that maybe they get to the top in 15 days. Julian, in order to go in hyper mode, it needs a lot of nutrients. So what happens is, is that these blood vessels here start to leak out blood. And by leaking out blood, it gives the stratum basal a lot of building blocks to start building keratinal sites. <gasps> Julian, why is the first degree burn red? Yes, it's the blood that you're seeing. Julian, why does it feel hot? Yes, Julian, it's the heat of the blood. It's hot because blood is 98.6 degrees and it's right underneath the epidermis. That's why it feels hot. Why does it hurt, Julian? Oh, don't touch it. Yes, Julian, because right here, Julian, right here, Julian, Julian, right here are the nerve endings. And if you swell up the blood around the nerve endings, now, now it's going to be hurt, uh, activate the nerve endings. And that's why you feel the blood, the pain. Whew. Thanks, Julian. Thanks a lot. Ben Smith, that's a first degree burn. You're going to walk us through a second degree burn. Ben Smith, a second degree burn. Definition, Ben. Most of your epidermis is burnt. Characterized. Bye. Ben, all second degree burns are characterized by something. Ben, I got my diagram here, Ben. Clean it up, Ben. Ben, I'm going to say most of your epidermis is burnt. This is your epidermis, Ben. Ben, all this, this, most of your epidermis in this area is bent. How did it happen, Ben? Oh. Maybe you touched a curling iron. Uh, maybe you really laid out in the sun for a long, long time. Now, Ben, what happens is, is you got a real thin layer of epidermis right here. Just a thin layer of epidermis. Now, Ben, we talked about what's the majority of the body made up of. Mm -hmm. Water, 60 to 80%. Now, Ben, you got all this water underneath there and only a tiny thin layer of epidermis above it. So what happens is, is this water lifts that epidermis. And what is that called, Ben? Yes, a blister. Ben, uh, to our notes, it's characterized by blisters. If you get a burn, and if you get a blister, that means it's a second degree burn. Thanks. Thanks, Ben. Riley, first degree burn, second degree burn, third degree burn. Sounds bad, Riley. It sounds really bad. It's the worst type of burn. They say, Riley, that if you get a third degree burn, over 10% of your body, you're going to die. <coughs> Riley, break it down for me, Riley. Third degree burn. What happens, Riley? Yes, Riley. All oh, your epidermis is burnt. Riley. Riley, that's not good. Riley. Sister. Oh of your epidermis. All this is not there, Riley. It's gone. 
Why, Riley? Why is this so bad? Why, Riley? Why, if it's over 10% in your body, you're gonna die? Yes, Riley. Yes, Riley. Riley, right here is water. And now, Riley, you got nothing above it holding that water in. So what's gonna come out, Riley? Water. Water is the most important thing to the human body. Riley, if it's over more than 10% in your body, no matter how much water you keep putting in your body, it's just gonna leave there. It's just gonna keep on leaving. If you don't do anything about it, you're gonna die because so much water is gonna leave your body, you'll die that way. Riley, there's something else that's big here. What else makes this so bad? Yes, it did. Riley, these cells right here, what are they called again? Yes, Riley, the stratum basal. The stratum basal, it's not there anymore. So Riley, how are all three to a third degree burns? What do you have to do? Yes. See, it will not make a new epidermis here. So Riley, what you have to do is you have to do a skin graft. You have to go to like either a freshly dead person or maybe you take some uh, skin from your own body. Riley, nobody looks at your butt so they could put like a little hole punch in your butt. And then Riley, what they could do is, is they could, they could uh, go down to the stratum basal in one part of your butt and they could put a little bit of skin. Uh, they'll stitch that area up and then maybe they'll go to another part. And then Riley, then what they do is they keep on piecing pieces of one part of your body's uh, stratum basal and they put them over here. And now there's a new stratum basal here that will make up the new layer of the skin. It's called a skin graft. Now, Riley, if you got like a big third degree burn, there's not enough skin on your butt. So then you would have to go to, um, to somebody that freshly died and then take the skin off of them deep enough into the stratum basal and then put it on you. All right, Ry, uh, we got to write our notes. A uh, third degree burn is defined by all your epidermis is burned. I think I already wrote that. Uh, Riley, um, what I need you to write down is must get a skin graft. And understand what that is and why you have to get it because the strap and basil is not there. YouTube's got a time limit of me uh, for 15 minutes. Uh, so I'm going to end this video right here. And then we're going to uh, finish up our notes today by talking about the three types of skin cancers.